Hi guys, I'm back. I have progressed a bit on Vim, Vector Instant Messaging, that has now been officially released. It consists of two parts, a server and several clients, obviously. The server runs either on your local network or on the internet. I have set up a shared server on uh, www.wondergarden.org slash vim that will stay online as long as the service is not disrupted. The server architecture is very naive and easy to hack. That's why I hesitated a bit before publishing this, at least as a shared server. If you run it on your local network, no problem. But the idea of sending messages among various vectors worldwide was too fascinating. The client runs on Vector? No, it runs on WirePod. User controls Vector via voice commands to sign up, log in, and send chat messages. A server on WirePod listens for incoming messages. Well, listens. It uses polling to read messages from the chat server. This is the main reason I don't like it, but it is easy to set up and run. To actually run a real server that listens on a TCP port to interact with a shared chat server on the internet, you'd need at minimum to set up port forwarding on your router. And well, I don't have one. I use a mobile hotspot to go on the internet all the time, so it gets complicated for me. I am more than happy to adapt the VectorX implementation to use a better chat server, so if you have any suggestion or if you're willing to help with development, please contact me. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how the whole thing works. To keep it short, my vector is already registered and logged in to the shared chat server on wondergarden.org as Tom. On the same server, I have also registered two human users, Filippo, me, and Andrea, my brother. Now, I'll tell Vector to chat with Filippo. Hey Vector, chat with Filippo. Then I'll send a message to the current chat target, Filippo. For example, hi. Hey Vector, say hi. I am logged in on the server on my computer, so I can reply to Tom. Let's say, hi, how are you? I can also send vector and emoticon. There are a few to play with and can be added easily to VectorX. For example, let's send him a smile. Or let's send a sad face. or a heart. Hey Vector, say bye bye. And that's it! The next step may be adding data messages so that vectors can exchange a useful payload. In the description you will find all the links to VectorX and Vim server. All source code is on GitHub and is free for you to use. Bye and have fun with VectorX!